Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be on this month's BoxyCharm. This is the December BoxyCharm. I'm going to show you guys what came in my BoxyCharm this month and also how I created this look right here. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I post every Sunday at 4 p.m. And I think I'm going to start posting twice a week starting January. We'll see. Hopefully. Hold me to it, you guys. Hold me to it. But without further ado, if you want to see how I created this look with all the products from my BoxyCharm box, then please keep watching. Okay, so if you don't already know, BoxyCharm is a monthly makeup subscription. For $21 a month, you get a box from BoxyCharm, <laughs> with four to five full-size products. Now, some of the products in your box are like well over $21, so the box is always worth your money, and I just think it's a great makeup subscription. It's one of my favorite makeup, it's my only favorite makeup subscription, actually. I just love it. You don't get to pick the products, they just send you you know, what they're going to send you. Each box is usually, like, themed. Um, sometimes there's variations of boxes, so say you and your homegirl get the December box, like, you might get something that she doesn't have, and she might have something that you don't have. So there's different variations, but everyone generally gets the same products in their box. Um, now I think it's cool because they do send you, like, their pick, and maybe it's not something that you would normally pick out at the store when you're shopping for makeup, but you end up loving it anyway, so I don't know. I just love the concept. I think it's a great idea, and I think it's totally worth $21 a month. So I'm going to show you guys what came in my box this month. So the first thing that came in my box is this right here. This is from Cosmetics, and it's their Detox Activated Charcoal Mask. Um, never mind mine. There's some little teeth marks in it because my puppy loves to chew squishy things like this. She didn't puncture it but um, she did chew it but anyways this mask retails for $30 see I told you it's already worth it the second thing I got in my box is this palette right here from Suava Beauty um, I think that's how you pronounce it it's this really beautiful eyeshadow palette it's the palette that I use to create the look that I'm wearing right now and this retails for $34 I also got this palette right here from Wander Beauty. This is the Wondrous palette. Um, the Wondrous Dusk to Dawn blush and highlighter palette. And this retails for $26. It's just this beautiful face palette with three different blush and highlight shades. I am also wearing this palette. Um, I think it's really pretty. Next, I got a lip pencil from Bodyography. It's this pretty nude color, and I have it on my lips right now. This retails for $12. And last but not least is this beautiful lip gloss right here. I love it so much. I'm wearing it on my lips. It's like a nude glittery lip gloss, and it is from Tarte Cosmetics. It's their tardiest lip paint in the shade insta famous it smells so freaking good it smells like icing and this retails for 20 bucks so everything you get in your box is totally worth the 21 dollars in my opinion and yeah if you're interested in getting your own boxycharm subscription check out my description box below it's a tongue twister um i have a link for you guys it is an affiliate link but um support your girl help a girl out um, it's in the description box, and you can click on that to get your own subscription to BoxyCharm. So anyways, let's get into this tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to start by taking this brown shade right here called Conscious, and I'm just going to start by packing this directly onto my lid. I'm not blending yet, I'm just packing it on there. We're going to start, um, I guess, from like the center and work our way out. Okay, next I'm going to go in with this cranberry shade right here called Aesthetic. And taking a smaller little fluffy brush, I'm going to use this to kind of just transition this brown shade out further. But I'm going to start by packing it along the edges of this brown. And then I'm going to slowly start blending it out. Okay, after I blow out that cranberry shade. I'm going to dip into this light, kind of like purpley pink mauve -y. It's like super light though. Um, shade right here called Poetic. It's almost like a gray pink. And I'm just going to start softening these edges with this color and blurring them out. 
out. Lots of blending, you guys. Lots of blending. I'm gonna go back in with that same plum. I know I said cranberry earlier, but it's kind of more of like a plum shade. I don't know. This like purpley shade. And I'm just gonna deepen the crease and the outer V area. Just making everything look nice and blended and smoky. Okay, after I get the edges all blended like I want them, I'm gonna go back in with that brown shade and I'm gonna start smoking out my lower lash line. And I'm gonna be dragging it up and connecting it to the shadow on top. I think it just looks better when everything's connected and blends well. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the tiniest bit of that plum shade and I'm gonna smoke out the brown a little bit more. Okay, so I use this new eyeshadow primer. It's actually not new, it's just new to me because I've never used it before. It's this CoverGirl one. I don't like it. It was really tacky and it like made this area kind of muddy, so never mind that. Okay, so next I'm going to do my inner corner and I'm going to attempt to make it super bright. So I'm going to be mixing these two shades right here to try and get a kind of like a brighter, lighter version of this one right here. And I'm just going to be placing this in my inner corner. This is just going to act as like a base for what I want to do. So I'm just now packing on that poetic shade in the corner of my eye. It's a little darker because I've mixed the plum shade with it. I'm gonna take this highlighting shade right here called Theory. So I'm taking some on my little brush and I'm just gonna spray it with a little bit of setting spray and I'm gonna pop it into the inner corner right here. It's so bright. Woo! Okay, now that I've got that shimmer shade, that highlighting shade in my inner corner, I'm going to apply the same shade up here to my brow bone. The shimmer is so beautiful and so pigmented. Okay, so my eyes are done. I'm going to pop on some lashes and some um, liner in my waterline, and then I'll be right back and I'll show you the rest of the products. Okay, my eyes are done. I'm going to zoom you out. And now we can finish the face. Okay, so I'm going to take the Wondrous palette from Wonder Beauty. This is a blush and highlight palette. And I'm going to do my blush and highlight. <laughs> For my highlight, I'm going to take this gold shade right here called City Lights. And it looks a little dark, so I'm hoping it looks okay. Um, oh yeah, it looks nice. So I'm just going to highlight all the usual parts of my face. Just highlighting the tops of my cheekbones above the brow my chin and then of course down the bridge of my nose I do think this highlighter is a little too dark for me it looks okay on camera but like in person it just looks a little dark I think it would look better on someone with a darker complexion but it's not bad for blush I'm gonna be taking the middle shade right here called Havana Nights this is a pretty dark blush so I'm gonna try and be very careful I just want a little bit pretty I feel like it has a little bit of a shimmer. I feel like all of these things are shimmery. I'm just gonna buff it out a little bit with my big fluffy brush. Same with this highlight up here. Okay, my BoxyCharm also came with a lip pencil. This is from Bodyography. It is the Heather Berry Lip Pencil. So it looks like a color that I would like. So let's hope so. <laughs> I'm just gonna line my lips. So the color is okay, it's not really, um, it looks a little more pink than what I would normally choose. I like a more mauve like, nudie, or like a gray nude versus like a pinky nude, so it's alright. Okay, so I went ahead and just filled in my whole entire lip with this pencil, which is something I do all the time, especially because I'm going to be wearing the gloss that came in the box this month. This is the Tardiest Lip Paint. This is a lip gloss from Tarte Cosmetics and it is in the shade Insta Famous. It's this really pretty like sparkly, glittery, shimmery nude lip gloss and it smells like I want to eat it. It smells like cupcake icing. <laughs> so I'm just going to apply this. My lips are super chapped. Also bruised because if you can't tell, I'm sure you can tell, um, I got my lips touched up the other day, actually like yesterday. They're still swollen and bruised, and that's why they look crazy big right now, but this line goes down. This gloss is going to make them look even bigger too, because gloss does that. Okay, so this gloss is really pretty. It's not like super sticky, which I like, because I hate a super sticky gloss. Of course, it's somewhat sticky because it is a gloss, but there's some glosses that are like 
just so sticky they're like not comfortable but this one I like a lot so the last product in my box is this one right here this is the detox activated charcoal mask from cosmetics I'm not gonna be using this in this video I was going to but I honestly forgot I was gonna apply it underneath my eyes while I did my eye makeup but I just totally spaced on that so anyways um, I'm sure this is great I personally don't really like this type of face mask I don't know I just feel like they break me out for some reason so I will try it but not on camera sorry and my dog chewed this as you can see there's all those little teeth marks in it she loves to chew stuff like this I'm sure because it's squishy and she's teething because she's a baby but yeah she chewed this one thank god she didn't puncture it though anyways that completes this look right here I hope you guys enjoyed it if you want to get your own BoxyCharm subscription then make sure you check out my description box I have a link in there that'll take you directly to the site so you can get your own subscription I personally love BoxyCharm I think it is so worth it I think it's fun to to get new products every month especially like random ones that you might not choose yourself I love I've been getting boxycharm for like a year now and like I love everything that comes in my box everything anyways thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it let me know also don't forget to subscribe I post new videos once a week I think starting January I'm gonna be posting twice a week hopefully I'm just gonna make myself do it but um yeah I post every Sunday at 4 p.m. So make sure you turn on that bell notification so you get notified when I post a new video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!